Welcome Taurus, it's uh, January 2024. Happy New Year. Uh, I'm going to delve a little deeper into the horoscope. I gave you the uh, brief overview for the year and those outer planets, but if you take a look here at what's happening for the month of January, you see this strong triplicate of planets in your eighth house, which is about intimacy, sexuality. It's also about other people's money, shared resources, and, you know, having the combative Mars there, which is the planet dominating your relationships, this could indeed present a few problems, arguments <coughs> over money up until the fifth, because as you can see, Mars moves out of that precarious eighth house into the ninth house to join the sun and Pluto. This ninth house is actually strongly connected with educational pursuits, long distance journeys, and to a large extent, your religious or philosophical views. So having those fire planets there shows that you're probably rethinking some of your value system at this time. And ethics may come into this, especially when we're talking about other people's money. There you see Moon moving into this eighth house around the eighth. And so it's about that time that I think some of these issues will come to the surface in a stronger way. It's important to investigate <clears throat> and not react too strongly. Uh, and you can see that that communication planet, Mercury, is probably the key to sidestepping any of those issues. On the 11th, you'll notice the moon moving up here to join Mars, Pluto and the sun. <coughs> and so that is the new moon phase, definitely heralding some new approach to your education or hatching some new plan to travel or even investigating some new forms of philosophy or religious interest, um, rekindling your spiritual appetite. That's also given by the transit of the North Node, the karmic point in your 12th house, another very, very spiritual area of the horoscope. Mind you, the 8th house too is about undoing the knots of your psychology. So I think this month is strongly focused on that, at least for the first half of the month. As you can see, most of those planets that were there have moved out into this ninth house. So there's a shift towards the middle of January to this ninth house space and uh, so maybe you, here the mercury aspect strongly hints at um, negotiations surrounding those sorts of things by the way the ninth house is a legal house <clears throat> has to do with law and here we see especially around the 18th with the moon rahu combination in the 12th house <clears throat> some sort of unforeseen expenditures that may have to do with legal matters, government bureaucracy, maybe having to communicate over some uh, errors in terms of billing and uh, that, that's, that sort of thing. This is a nice combination around the 19th when the moon touches Jupiter. That's giving you an optimistic view of life. Uh, by the way, Taurus, you have to be a little bit careful with Jupiter transiting this area because it is the big planet. And so maybe those calories can start to uh, present a bit of a problem through this period. But look at the strong transit of the sun into the 10th house there with Pluto, giving you some incredible drive and energy and uh, possibly a bit of stubbornness there in terms of your professional activities. Again, we see these shifts from the 8th house to the 9th house and now to the 10th house. The 10th house sun is an exceptionally good placement for any sort of promotion, any sort of new job that you may be looking for. And with that south node in the 6th house, there might be a return to some previous type of work or an interest in what you had done in the past. Family matters take on a more notable tone uh, with the position of the moon here. Again, it has directional strength in the fourth house. 
while the sun has directional strength in the 10th house. And there on the 26th, we have the full moon enlightening that domestic sphere of your house, bringing with it some nurturing, caring opportunities to, you know, cement and bond with those people in your family that you may not have had as much time for, especially your mother. <coughs> moon is the mother and fourth house is also the mother Taurus. So this is a lovely period to rekindle uh, those feelings of domesticity, love and nurturing against the backdrop of these planets moving in the upper part of your horoscope, giving you the drive and the willpower to achieve some incredible things, uh, especially in this uh, last couple of weeks of January 2024. Look at that placement of Pluto right there at the upper part of the horoscope. You mean business in January and nothing's going to get in your road, that's for sure, Taurus. If you want to know more about what's going on in the month, why not get on over to astrology.com.au. I've got the text-based forecast for January. We've got the yearly forecast there and the video to go along with this to uh, contextualize where you're at in your journey throughout the coming 12 months. I'm here if you'd like that personal reading, which really there's no substitute for that. We can drill down into your time and place of birth and find out precisely what's going on for you uh, this year and in the years to come. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And I'll see you here next month. Good luck. Bye-bye now.